Hey, what's up everybody? It's Gudu from Contrast Gamers and today I am bringing you guys something special as you just saw. We are uh, doing the beta. The beta's out for The Division. Tom Clancy! Super excited to uh, be bringing this to you guys. Uh, now, I've already played through it last night when I had it downloaded online and I have to admit, I'm actually very happy with how it's turning out. I'm super excited for the final product when it drops and yeah, you know, Ubisoft does it again. So let's get into this. Now for those who don't know, it's kind of like, it's almost like a mix between Destiny and Watch Dogs and let me elaborate. Destiny is very open world, you know, you got the, the social tower that you can run around in and you know, obviously you can't kill other guardians so you kind of have a realm like that. And now they also have what's called the Dark Zone, which is pr pretty much a free-for-all. Like, you can kill anyone. It's like the Crucible in Destiny, um, you know, everywhere. Now, comparing it to Watch Dogs, there's a lot of things that you can, you know, pick up and pay attention and interact with, right? It just has that kind of feel to it. So we'll be going through, you know, both of these areas. I'll show you guys how it works. You know, I'll show you the loot drops, the pickups that you can get. As I said, this is the beta, so I don't know if we get to keep our levels. I haven't read up on it or anything. Um, go check out some forums, you know, they might have the answer. And yeah, I'm super excited to finally be able to share this with you guys. As you can see, I'm already rank six. I preferably wish that will, you know, stay when the game releases, but let's be honest. that we're all gonna be kicked right back down to zero it just wouldn't be fair um your dark zone also actually has a separate rank when you buy items you have to be rank say for example five in the social area but you have to be rank eight in the uh, dark zone area the dark zone area is a little more tough but uh you know once you get the hang of it you know it's probably best to play with friends i'm telling you that right now go and play you know, go grab the beta and play it with some friends. It's a lot easier, I find. Especially, you don't know when a stranger can just turn their back on you. Huge pain in the butt. So as, as you can see, there's a lot of open world stuff, right? Right now, I think we are... Yeah, so we are in the social space, as you can see. Over here, this area is your dark zone. Um, so, where was it? I, I got turned around. I got turned around. Where am I? Oh, here we go. Okay, alright. I, I totally got lost. So confused. So what we're gonna do, I'm actually gonna show you guys the quick little, um, mission that they have. The campaign mission, I'm guessing. And super cool thing, first thing that sticks out to my mind is that you can do matchmaking, which is super awesome. Um, and then if I want to change the difficulty, I can do hard or I can do normal. Um, in this case, let's just do normal just for video's sake and keep it short. Haha. <laughs> We've got a lot of hostile inside agents. They're holding Dr. Right. Candle and his staff. The campaign is super interesting. I really like how they did this. It, as I said, it kind of has a watchdog feel, like just the overall look, the things that you can interact with. So we'll escort the medical super excited. Alright, so we already have some hostiles inbound. So obviously, handling some guns is weird. This is on the Xbox. I uh, was debating about getting on PS4 or not, but since Corey is flat, I pretty much convinced Corey to get it. I know he's, it's not that he wasn't hyped about it, it's uh, Hitman I think comes out uh, two days after or before on uh, the actual official release date for The Division. And uh, <laughs> he doesn't want his hands full just yet, but I am making him rethink it. If you guys want to catch up with us on The Division, let us know. Add you guys up. We'll do some missions together. Wow. Now I have not read up on whether PS4 is going to have more exclusives um, compared to the Xbox. Usually that's the case. Uh, 
Can you patch me to the security system? Right. I might be able um, to find Candle's location. There we go. And, uh, yeah, we're probably just gonna do a lot of online gameplay and just kind of, you know, get the highest gear that we can. And you guys are totally up to join up. Patched in. Let's see what I can find. And, uh, can you see the CCTV welcome. feed? Looks like Candle and her staff are being forced to treat their wounded. That's the only reason they're still alive. Let's see, nothing up here. Only weird thing is this, where you open the door, what if there's guys right there in front of you? I kind of get worried about that, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it looks like they've got people upstairs, in a restaurant. There we go. Now, interesting thing I really like about this, if I go there's right here... There's a lot here, of these guys. I but can if you actually cover, look for you other be cover. Able to pick them off without making yourself I can run to other cover whichever way I like. I have to hold down A. Now you have to continuously hold it down. If you let go in the middle of it, you're gonna stand up and you're gonna eat shit if there's other enemies around. Um, so yeah, just make sure you know what you're doing. Candle and her staff are still upstairs, stashed in the kitchen at Kobe's. No. What is that? Freelance cap. Uh, I'll take that. That looks nice. Screw the gun. Yeah, overall, like, it's nice how... Is that they've really trashed the place. It would have broken my dad's heart to see it go to hell like this. We used to watch games there together. Yeah, it's super nice how they have this, like, didn't live to mix see any of between... This. But then I think know, about all the people doing their best to keep going. Destiny That's slash do this for, Watch Dogs, you know. It, go get them. Oh, interesting mix to have. To get to Kobe, um, you'll have right to now pass by some contaminated taste. areas. Uh, there used to be plenty of sick people being kind of treated feel, there you know, the before they got shot. The items. So be careful. I keep doing that all the fucking time. Get your ass out of here! Stop table dancing. Now, I don't know if there's any collectibles just yet. I don't think so. It's only the beta. Um, I know some games do you have stuff like that, but honestly, for this, I don't think they have anything ready at the moment. Or at least from keep your heads what down anyone has found, there's nothing. Morning. Hostiles detected. We'll fuck your hostiles too. Oh yeah, there's just one second. The one guy runs up with that. Yeah, here he is. Tough gun. Party's taking heavy fire from the roof. 
They can't move until you get up there and take down that gunner. We're pinned down! There's no way we'll make it across alive unless someone can get up there and take out the big guns! All, All yours, right. Agent. Alpha Escort, we have an agent on the roof. This candle made it to your position. Affirmative. Sierra staff just arrived. As soon as the hostiles on the roof are gone, we'll get her across safely. Got the medic safely across. Candle and all staff accounted for. No casualties. We're off to a good start, agents. Wish I could have had your back out there, but I think we make a hell of a team anyway. When you get back to the base, we'll talk to Candle and we'll see what she can do for us. Examine. That looks better. That is the campaign mission that they have available at the moment. Now the next area I'm actually going to show you guys is the dark zone area. So this is your free for all. This is where uh, you can kill other players if you really want to, no right? Now when you get there you'll see I would suggest actually only killing rogue players. These are people that have hurt other players and so they pretty much have a bounty on their head you get bonus uh, experience when you kill these people. So definitely a uh, good experience. Ah, make them pay. You guys have anything? Nope. All right, I will catch you guys at the entrance to the dark zone. Alrighty, so here we are, right at the entrance of our dark zone. So I will show you guys so now when we look what at this i'll show for? you Don't ask me you can see on the side you have your level six which is your previous zone that you're in and your rank eight which is actually your dark zone rank so you have to meet both numbers you need to meet both requirements so in my case Come i am six and here. six however dark zone you do level up faster than usual, which is what I like. So now, most of the time, what we're gonna try doing is we're actually just gonna avoid any conflict um, with other players, right? So you can see this guy just, like, just heading back in. It's kind of an open world. And uh, as I said, you can attack other players and stuff like that. These arrows pointing down are um, contaminated areas, specifically, or most of the time. As you can see when I go down, this one is not too bad actually. This one's fairly empty. So yeah, a lot of the underground, yeah, here we go. So you have your contamination levels. Now it says required Warning. filters, right? this area so it says number one. And when you click on your inventory, you want to look at this in the middle. So it says level six, you're good for contamination areas up to that. You know kind of ratio i know there's a strange 
some areas have high contamination levels. Now if it's higher than what you area. have equipped, it will actually damage that item and it will contaminate it. So now when you're in a dark zone, you're going to find a lot of contaminated items, you know, especially when you're looting uh, other players, you know, rogue players, or if you're just in general um, taking out some NPCs. And what do you do with um, contaminated items? The area that I am in, who is that? Oh, these are actual NPCs, I think. Yeah, so where I'm in is an actual drop point. What you do is you call a helicopter in, it comes by, it drops a rope, and all the contaminated... Uh, oh my god, I can't even speak. Had a stroke. <laughs> all the contaminated uh, items that you grab, we actually attach it to this rope, and then what it does, it sends it all the way back into the other zone, not the dark zone. You have to go all the way back to your main base, and uh, you grab it from there, and you decontaminate the item. So you cannot use... Um, items that you find that are greater than what you have, if they're contaminated, you cannot equip them on the spot. And so there is a countdown, you do have to wait, uh, but it's definitely worth the wait, especially if you find what you are looking for. Definitely worth it. Well, it's always a mad scientist in the movie. So I'm actually going to go ahead and have some fun right here. a lot better. Someone started an extraction over here. So that is it for the most part. So now as you can see you have your countdown. I don't know who, who started it. Someone started it. You got a bird inbound on your I'm gonna position. double check this item. So yeah, as you can see, the item we just picked up, better stats, of course, but I cannot equip it due to the fact that it is contaminated. I don't know if you can increase that number of how many you can hold. I'm guessing you can. Item attraction, please go. Someone's here. There he is. all your items that you have that are contaminated. And I'll show you your full list of things that you just uh, gave. So in this case, we only had one item, which is fine. Doesn't matter. And uh, yeah, we also ranked up to seven in the dark zone. So that's super convenient. Only one more to go, and then we can grab some uh, brand new items. So I'm going to do some little grinding here, and I will catch you guys uh, back when uh, I hit eight. And then we can see what we can buy Alrighty, here we are. Rank eight. Hey, and, you know you uh, need this. You won't find this gonna, shit anywhere the else. The damage on this is ridiculous compared to the standard weapon, as you can see. I, everything is a little lower, of course. It is going to be a little close range for sure. However, the damage rate, <laughs> the DPS, is absolutely ridiculous. So I'm actually going to go ahead and buy this. I'll be around. So now let's just equip this. There we go. Now we have a gun Final that does 2,000 damage, which means if someone is a beast bag and decides to kill me because they want to go back uh, the chances of them surviving 
are very low, Caution. unfortunately. Okay. So this is looking very good. Um, I'm gonna actually end this little preview for you guys right here. Stay tuned for more content when the game drops. For sure, me and Corey are actually gonna just rip through this whole thing. There's no doubt that we're gonna be online for a majority of the time. And uh, yeah, just stay tuned for more content, folks.